our last video we have um, finally completed harvest it's been a, a harvest of um, it's almost been two harvests this year the winter crop was relatively straightforward well the winter oats and rye were relatively straightforward when we started into spring barley and beans it was a, a day on two days off kind of affair with the rain we after a couple of false starts at the beans we uh, finally cut them on the 10th of September we tried initially we found that the although the pods were ready to cut that the stalks were still too green and just it wasn't thrashing properly so we left it for a, a week and then we went back and it was a different um, different thing altogether yield was disappointing we were aiming for three ton to the acre we were looking to be at at least two and a quarter and we finished up at 1.6 tons per acre several different problems there when they were sowing they got quite washed we saw that in the early videos the field was quite washed out a lot of plants were missing then they got a bit of frost damage there's some vermin damage and at the end of the day we just didn't have enough plants on the ground the plants that did come because they started to grow early in february and then got a check when they regrew again in april they started podding too quickly and they podded from the ground up and we just couldn't get the combine in below a lot of them we lost it probably looked worse than it was but we lost a lot of pet pods and seeds because we just couldn't get in below them the quality that we had was high the beans themselves and the fresh averaged 24 percent protein and then after they were treated they lifted to over 31 percent so currently we're feeding it to our february born calves who were weaned at housing three weeks ago it's early days but it's feeding very well it's been the cattle's diets have been consistent they've been eating what's been expected based on dry matter intakes they seem to be very contented they're and the nice skins on them and seem to be continuing their growth as we would be expected if there is some left we'd like to try some with the uh, calving the calving animals pre-calving to see how this affects colostrum quality but that will depend on whether we have enough the primary object is to feed the young stock so we cut the rye at the end of august and um, after a bit of intrepidation about how that might go due to the height of it and the type of the stalks it was actually a dream to cut and probably about the best stuff we cut all year due to the weather it sailed through the combine we were delighted with yield uh, we had an average for our 40 acres of 3.6 ton and the straw was phenomenal with four and a half hestons per acre of straw as well the decision was made to bruise half and treat it and to treat the other half whole through our own mixer wagon and to bruise it as we go the reason we didn't bruise it all at harvest we weren't sure how quickly we would use it and to try and maintain a fresher bruising and fresher feed for the cattle through the winter so we've been very happy with it it's lifted the protein to about 12 and a half percent so the rye is being fed again to these uh, young stock behind us here as part of the the ration to help balance with the beans and some barley the, um, as it stands, the current ration, um, as done by SAC, is one kilo of beans, one kilo of rye, and one kilo of alpha-treated barley per head per day, along with half a kilo of straw and then silage to make up the, the total ration. Again, it seems to be feeding very well. It's a bit... It's completely new to us, but we're very happy with it and how it's doing. We are also feeding a kilo and a half per head to our autumn calf cows and bulling just to help with the extra energy, just to put a bit more milk on them and give them energy to bull and hopefully get them in calf quicker and keep them tight. So this year's winter crop, we have gone with the same, same mixture again of winter oats, winter rye and winter beans. The, we have moved the beans to a new field. As we discussed in our previous video, we felt that last year's field was quite open and exposed, so we've moved to a slightly more sheltered field, albeit it's a bit higher up, so a bit closer to the moon, so we'll see how that does. The, we followed the beans with the rye, and with the, what was the rye last year has been grazed with, has had some stubble fodder crops sown into it and is currently being grazed with sheep.